Now, businesses are using computer game software to design their products in the virtual world before risking hard cash in the real world. It means that whatever they're making or building, even new factories, houses or cars, can be perfected and any problems ironed out. The new software also allows people to even walk around buildings which don't exist. Our business correspondent Mark Goff reports. One day looking round your next house could be more of a virtual experience than a real one. Software used by a computer game company is now being offered to businesses, anything from architects to car makers, to design their products and get them right in the virtual world without risking any real money first in the real world. Well, literally, you can walk around that house as though you're there. It's, it's all around you, it's, it's full scale, it's fully immersive, it's 3D, and you're in it. It's, you're not watching it on a screen, you're walking around, you're going up the stairs, you're looking at the size of the rooms, you're getting a feel for what it looked like in the, in the environment. So again, the big thing with environmental policies, you can feel what it's going to look like, what the views are going to be out the windows, and obviously what it looks like from the outside as well. You're there for real. It's been demonstrated at the Manufacturing Technology Centre in Coventry. Engineering firms come here to design new ways of making things, anything from aircraft engines and wings to cars. But computer game software is now so powerful, it's too big to ignore. These larger-than-life images have been made for the computer game industry. The company behind them, from Lutterworth in Leicestershire, has made them for theme parks in America. You're surrounded by the game. You're not just playing it. You're one of the characters taking part in the action. But this kind of computing power can help businesses, even small businesses, take the risk out of launching something new by seeing how it looks and works before committing large amounts of cash. Stuart Hetherington is the man behind the computer games. What we're trying to do here is, is make that technology more accessible, make it accessible to smaller businesses that can really get their hands onto immersive technology at an affordable price point, but still something that delivers, saves them time, saves them money. It's very easy with new technology to spend a lot of money and lose your shirt on it. Uh, and this is really a, you know, part of the risk uh, reduction mechanism. It allows you to have a look at new factories, uh, new manufacturing uh, systems at a very early stage in their design so you can get rid of some of the daft errors that you would make earlier so it, it doesn't cost you as much money to introduce them and it really helps you to take the risk out of doing it. The Manufacturing Technology Centre is a not-for-profit business part funded by government and by the firms which use it. The aim to make sure Britain remains as a world leader in high-end manufacturing and high-tech. And some of the work they do here for companies is so commercially sensitive, it's top secret. We've got some pretty exciting stuff. Unfortunately, I can't tell you about much of it. But it's, it's automation technologies, it's new manufacturing technologies that are helping to make things like aircraft engines, uh, aircraft wings, Electronics is something you know, most people think it left these shores and you know, went to China years ago. But Britain is still the fifth biggest producer of electronics globally. You know, people don't know that. It goes on, but it, it's hidden from view. So uh, you know, part of my role is, is to get that out there, get people to realise you know, manufacturing has never gone away. It has changed. We're doing less of the low-grade stuff, but we're increasingly doing the high-end you know, highly technically uh, difficult uh, manufacturing in the UK and that's that's what we've got to do even more of and we've got to make sure you know, it's, it's like with your football team you, you can't stop developing because others will catch you up you just got to keep going. Keeping going to stay ahead of the game Mark Goff ITV News Coventry. That's incredible isn't it it's like being in someone else's imagination. I'd love to have a go at some of those. <laughs> know, more, more support, my there. son would love to have a go at some of those. You wouldn't see him again though. Well, we don't see him much now, to be honest, while well, he's on his games, but never mind. <laughs> All good. Now,